Got milk. <laughs> Should we put like a viewer warning on that? <laughs> that was Glozell, one of three YouTube stars to score a sit-down interview with the President of the United States earlier today. While she did ask him a few hard-hitting questions, this was one of our favorite moments. My mom was saying, whenever you go to somebody's house, you have to give them something. Oh, okay. Don't come empty-handed. Right. So um, I have green lipsticks, one for it. Yes. Your first wife. I mean, My first wife? I mean, <laughs> I mean. Do you know something I don't? Oh, oh for, for, the for the first lady and the first children. And the first child. Oh. I'm going to ask Michelle <laughs> to try it on maybe tonight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Howard Kurtz is host of Media Buzz on Fox News. Howie, how'd it go? Well, look, Glozell is a star. She's funny. Uh, she probably have her own Netflix show by next week. But when did eating milk and cereal out of your bathtub become an audition to interview the President of the United States? Now, I'm, Megan, I'm not some old media curmudgeon saying, you know, Obama shouldn't go on Ellen or The View or Colbert. He's got a good sense of humor. That's a political asset. But there's, it just seemed beneath the dignity of the office to be hanging out with some of these YouTubers. You think the, the, the woman who's bathing herself in the Fruit Loops one day and then sitting down with the President of the United States the next day asking questions like uh, about Cuba, like saying that, that, that the Castros put the, the D word in dictatorship? I was yeah. going to let you handle that one. I wasn't sure uh, how yeah, you were going to get that. that. But that was, I mean, like, <laughs> really, this is, what, this is what the President is now across from. Well, there was that. There was um, uh, Hank Green thanking him for Obamacare. There was Bethany Moda saying her an his answers were awesome, asking him what superpower he would like to have, and also taking the selfie. So maybe this is how the president wants the White House, House press corps to act around him. You know, here's my question for you. You know, Yemen was, like, collapsing today, and that, that Al-Qaeda is, is really big there. And he was sitting down with Glozell, and I'm just thinking, like, doesn't anybody say, well... This may not be the best, these may not be the best optics for us. That's what the, all the reporters always focus on. Well, even if you grant the White House didn't know in advance there would be another foreign policy crisis, I mean, this was scheduled as the first interview two days after the State of the Union. Now, the State of the Union is a serious policy speech, and this looked like Obama was just going to the uh, D-list Hollywood after party. And if he was serious about getting some of these proposals in the speech, the tax hike on the rich, the spending programs, free community college, through Congress, he'd be working the mainstream media. But he doesn't think any of that's going to pass, or White House doesn't believe most of it will pass. And so, you know, he goes to the party and uh, yeah. hangs out with Glows Out. If I ever get to interview the president, I'm bringing a big picture of myself with crazy lipstick. I'm going to put it behind myself during the interview. I don't know how she managed to do that. That was, that was impressive. Howie, good to see you. But she will be on the cover of the New York Times Magazine after you are next Sunday. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, joining me now, Mark Hanna is a Democratic strategist, and he's also pursuing his doctorate in media studies. All right, Mark, so, you know, I get that they want to outreach to young people, and it's young right. people who didn't watch the State of the Union, but... There's a reason they didn't watch the State of the Union. They don't care what was said in the State of the Union. They don't care if Glozell sits down and tells them what was said in the State of the Union. Why, what is the point? Right, the point is, I mean, she, for, don't act, first of all, Megan, like you're not a big Glozell fan. I, um, I, I, I admit it was somewhat riveting. No, this is the first time I've heard the name Glozell, but this is, this is what young people are watching. She has over three and a half million YouTube subscribers, uh, which just boggles the mind. I know, you should More study than, that you know, in your media studies classes. No, I learned it on a you know an article before I came on. But the, the, the young lady who greeted me at the Washington bureau here, she's 22 years old. She's been watching Glozell for four years. So this is this is this is what young people are watching. Facebook put out some we should, really. We, should we be encouraging it? I don't understand. If we should be feeding that. Well, you know. Often politicians are sort of uh, beholden to the trends of, of the time. You see this with Bill Clinton going on Arsenio Hall. You see this with Ron Paul going on The Daily Show with John Stewart. But what Stewart. about the sure beneath John the dignity of the done. office charge that Howie made? Say again? The, you know, Howie says it's beneath the dignity of the office. It no. I couldn't agree more, which is why it's, it's great that Glozell's not going to be running for president. Um, but I'm he, sure does they, he belittle the office by sitting across from somebody who's asking him questions like they put the D in dictatorship? She's a comedian, Megan. If, I know, if, if, there's if no offense to Glozell. She's, she's funny, but that doesn't right. mean she should get to sit down with the president at the White House. Right. But a lot, of, a lot of comedians do, and if you, you take everything, you could go back in Jon Stewart's history and see some of the off-color jokes that he's made. 
Uh, but he sit down. He sits down with Republican and Democratic presidential candidates. I These predict. I predict going. that Glozell's viewers, who really just want to see her eat weird stuff, don't right. want to watch this. Like, why, well, why do they want to see a, a, a substantive interview? Actually, she did ask some good questions. <laughs> it's just a little spoonful of sugar. It helps the medicine go down. The fact is, data, Facebook put out data saying that the most active conversations on Facebook about the State of the Union were happening with people 65 years and older. So. The White House has a challenge, and every future White House is going to have a challenge in reaching young people. This is one of the tricks they pulled out of their hat. I don't know that I would have necessarily picked Glozell if I was uh, picking the interviewers, but there were some substantive questions, like how we said about, um, you know, drone policy and whether yes. there's a bad precedent there and the hypocrisy of I'll our, our drone I'll never look at my Fruit Loops the same way again. <laughs> Mark, great to see you. Thanks, Megan. We'll be right back.